Hey beauties, thanks for tuning in to CYB TV. This is Cherish and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a DIY and showing you guys how I make these bandana flip flop sandals straight from scratch. Pretty much everything I'll be using is from the dollar store. And as you guys can see, I'm having like the black and the red going on. So yes, I will be showing you guys exactly what I do and use to achieve these so if you want to see exactly how I get these then definitely keep on watching I'm here to make you look great feel great think great be great yeah I'm here to make you look great feel great think great be great yeah I'm here to make you look great feel great think great be great all right love so as you guys can see i already have some of the things out there i'm going to be using the main thing i have the bandanas i got those from the dollar tree they have so many colors you guys i racked up on all of these different colors and then i also got those cute little um bedazzled buckles those pin tacks and then also this thread from walmart now again from the dollar store which is from my local dollar store not the dollar tree i got these soles which are super cool. And then I also got these foam sheets. And then again from the Dollar Tree, I got these adhesive corkscrew, this little pack of, you know, little sewing kit. And then I also got some clips. These clamps are really, really good and you guys will see how I use these, okay? Um, I also got a couple other things too that you'll see later on, but for the adhesives, I got the Gorilla Glue. You guys already know how strong Gorilla Glue is. We already know. So I got two different ones, the spray and then this clear glue. And then of course you need your scissors. So let's get started. First thing first, we're gonna start with the soles. So these soles, like I said, I got from the dollar store, my local one, um, which I absolutely love that dollar store. Other than Dollar Tree, that one is the go-to. These um, actually are four. So I got four in a pack. And the cool thing about these, they have the outline and where you can cut and, you know, fit it to your foot so i really like this about these particular ones and um i'm around a size nine it says men's nine but i don't know as that's just the size that i am right now so i'm gonna go ahead and cut where that nine is and as you can see how i'm cutting i'm not going right along their lines because I want the, the sandal to be kind of wide. I don't want it to be too narrow. So that's how I'm cutting it. So we got one down. Now for the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the left foot. This one is the right one and then this is the left. So for the right, I'm gonna just flip that over to make it like a left one and then I'm gonna trace that one to get the left sole. So there you go, I have the left and the right. Now for the corkscrew, so this one is um, an adhesive corkscrew. If you can find some regular corkscrew, that would be great. But like I said, I got this from the dollar store or the Dollar Tree, and this is what the only kind they had. So I'm going to go ahead and trace the sole and get my corkscrew. This is for the bottom of, very bottom of the shoe. Now you guys will see later on, I actually added some rubber to one of the bottoms of the shoes because I felt like that's a little bit more sturdier. So you can do that later on, but for the cheaper version, yeah, the corkscrew is just fine. But go ahead and trace out those um, soles. You want two pieces of corkscrew for each foot. That's what I did. Now 
And what I am doing is making sure that the corkscrew, you guys, is actually going to be face down, not on the adhesive part, but the actual corkscrew will be on the bottom. So I need two pieces for each foot, and they're gonna be facing down. The corkscrew is gonna be facing down, not up. So now moving on to the foam, this foam, is amazing like I love how the pack comes with like I believe five sheets or however many sheets it just counted right there but um, for me I wanted a platform sandal so I would suggest doing a lot more uh, than what I did which was only eight pieces for each foot I did eight pieces of foam for each foot as you saw I just tr I'm just tracing out the sole for each foot but I did only eight Originally it was supposed to be 12, but some fell on the floor. I already had kind of finished one, and so I had to stick with eight. But the thicker the sole, for me, I feel the longer the sandal will last. So as you guys can see, I went on and cut out my foams. This is for one sandal, and then I'm gonna do the same for the other. And that's eight pieces. Now, those are finished the main pieces are all cut out and now it's time to get the gluing so I'm going to make sure that the corkscrew is going to both be facing down now the Gorilla Glue and the adhesive how you're supposed to use it just watch and see okay so first things first I'm going to take off that backing of the sticky corkscrew and then I'm going to line it with the regular Gorilla Glue, the clear one, and then spray it down with that um, spray. And you're supposed to wait at least a minute for it to get tacky and then go ahead and place the pieces together. So yeah, that's how you're supposed to really use it. And let me tell you, it's going to get a little messy because it's really, really strong glue, you guys. It's waterproof. It's used for all types of fabrics and, you know, metals, wood, all that stuff. So it's really good glue, but just, just keep in mind, it's going to um, be a little messy. And for me, I just like to step on it just to really, really um, stick those pieces together because it does take a while for it to really, really, really dry they say at least 24 hours so definitely keep that in mind for me i am moving pretty quick but yeah it it all worked out in the end <laughs> so i'm just going to go ahead and trim a little bit of the sides and then i'm going to repeat for the other sandal okay so now we're moving into already sewing baby i mean we're just moving along so now I'm going to take this uh, bandana, and as you guys saw, you're just going to see different colors of bandanas, okay? But I took the bandana facing right side up, and then I put the sole inside of that, and now I'm going to start pinning down the edges. And the way you want to place the sole is how you want the pattern to you know lay so for me I like this little pattern on the side so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way so I'm just tacking that down really securely you want to make sure it's fully pushed inside that bandana and now we're going to start to sew and now we're back to black <laughs> so when you sew you want to make sure that right foot is all the way towards the um, edge of the sole or the bandana that way you can get a one eighth a uh, eighth of an inch so so there we go we finished with that we're going to take out the pins and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and this is what it's looking like so you want to make sure you're going to do that same thing all the way around so I'm just doing it little bit by little um, it's easier that way uh, now I'm going to go in and start um, tacking down the rest and 
So for this part, you guys, though, it is a little tricky around the edges and the corners when you're sewing. You want to make sure that you're getting as much gathers out as possible. You don't want it to be wrinkly. You want it to be nice and flat and smooth. So now we're going to start off where we left off and... You guys will see how I'm doing this. And let's go ahead and take those pins out. And voila, this is what it looks like, you guys. Nice, clean edge and keep in mind if you don't have a sewing machine okay um you can go ahead and skip this part i haven't done it that way but you can skip skip this part and possibly just glue so um this is what it looks like after sewn all the way around and now we're going to go back in and do another uh stitch just to flatten uh the fabric around the sole so with this part, if you're not an experienced seamstress or you're not familiar with sewing, you guys, I've been doing this. I actually have my bachelor's in fashion design and business marketing, but yeah. Um, I would suggest you pin down this if you're not, um, you know, great at sewing. It'll just make it easier, but um, you wanna make sure that it's super close to uh, the edge, those little raw edges, and also, you want to go slowly just so you can get that nice uh, eighth of an inch seam just to tack down that fabric. And there you go, that's all finished. And when you cut the fabric, make sure you're not cutting too much, you guys. You want at least a half an inch of fabric left. And that's what it looks like, nice and super clean. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side. And you're going to do the same thing for the other foot. Um, you're just going to use that same fabric that you should have left over or the, you know, the bandana and do the same thing for the other foot. Okie dokie. Now let's move on to the foam. So, um, this is super easy. All we're going to do is just glue. We're just going to glue and stack, glue and stack until all eight pieces are done of course don't do the last eight piece um don't glue on top of that just yet but yeah we're just going to go ahead and um keep on gluing and stacking okay so as you guys can see i finished the last um foam piece and now i'm going to go ahead and get the bandana again and we're going to seal this platform part and make it all purdy. So the glue on the sides that's oozing from the foam, it's okay because since we're about to stick the bandana around it, it's perfect. So same thing, you wanna lay the platform part, the foam, where you want the pattern to mainly show. So for me, I like it to show the actual paisley prints and all that of the bandana. So that's where I'm gonna place it. And now you're gonna tightly, tightly uh, pull the bandana or the fabric around the foam part. And again, you're gonna cut around it, um, cut away that excess fabric and make sure it's enough though to pull over the full platform. So yeah, you're just gonna keep on going around and around until it's tightly pulled and neatly 
you know, covering that platform part of your sandal. And then once you're finished with that, you're gonna just take the glue and just glue that um, edge down as much as possible. And again, around the edges and the corners, you know, the twists and turns, uh, you wanna make sure that the gathers are pretty much gone as much as possible. I mean, I know it's a little hard to get them all gone, but I like to use the edge of the scissors just to kind of flatten it out too. But um, yeah, you're just gonna keep working with it until it's nice and flat and smooth. All right, so this is when we lay the sole part and you're just gonna glue it up. Make sure it's enough glue just to really, really stick down on top of that platform. Um, I use a lot of this glue. <laughs> Because I want it to be sturdy and I wanted it to just, you know, be secured. So yeah, you're just going to go ahead now and place that sole on top of that platform area. Um, make sure all the edges of the raw bandana and fabric is tucked underneath you guys. Um, see me using the scissors just to kind of really tuck everything in and cleaning up any glue that may seep. That's um, the best thing to do. And yeah, you're just gonna keep on working with it until it's completely flat and everything stuck together. Now we're moving to the corkscrew. So you're gonna take that backing off the corkscrew. And it doesn't matter that the backing of that little sticky part on the corkscrew is going to come up because we're gonna glue it anyway. So don't even worry about that. So I'm just going to put a generous amount of glue on that portion and then I'm going to spray down the back of the foam or the platform and then we're going to stick that together. And you can use the Zacto knife just to clean up the edges and make it a little bit smoother but you know you don't really need to. <laughs> so there you have it y'all. This platform part is finished. It's nice and neat. Like I said, you can go ahead and add rubber at the bottom if you want. Um, I did to the bottom of this one, but yeah, it's whatever you feel you wanna do a little bit more extra of. <laughs> so now we're gonna go in to do the strap part. I'm just measuring an old Nike uh, slide that I really like the way it fits, so I'm going with that measurement, and I'm just gonna go ahead and trace it using that uh, chalk little marker from the Dollar Tree. So after I go in and cut that out, this is what it looks like. I need four pieces of that, two for each slide. So um, now after that, I'm just going in to mark it where it's supposed to be. And then I'm gonna glue those pieces together and now I'm gonna go in and start sewing the band bandana fabric onto the strap part. And same thing what I did with the other pieces, I'm using the pins to tack it down and I'm going to sew it at an eighth of an inch. And um, after that, I'm going to do the other side so you wanna do the top and the bottom of the strap. And I'm also going to stitch the raw edges down just so it can look a lot more cleaner. Now for the sides, I'm just gonna cut off the excess fabric, tuck it, do the same thing, sew it at one eighth of an inch, and do the same thing for both sides. And now it's time to glue 
on the strap. Now look at how clean that looks. I mean, it looks so good just like that, like a regular slide, you guys, without the bow. But of course, you know, just a little bit extra, I did the bow. But that's super cute, just like that. So if you wanna do a slide, there you go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add these little tacks um, just for a little uh, razzle dazzle and a little bit more security for keeping the straps down. I'm just gonna add glue to the tip of it and then stick it in towards the corners of the straps two on each side. And now it's time to go and do the bow. So I got that little metal um, bedazzle thing from Walmart. And now I'm just gonna take a full bandana, fold it in half, and then put it through the buckle part, okay? Then I'm gonna fan out the bandana. And this is just the way I found it easy to do. That way I can make like a good bow. So now I'm going to Go ahead and fold that underneath and just fluff to make a good bow. And when you got something you like and looking pretty, then you're going to flip it over and just put as much glue as possible to make sure all the um, you know portion of the bow is concealed and completely glued down. And then I'm using my clamps finally. You can also use these clamps for the edges around uh, the platform and when you glue down the sole, that will keep the you know edges and corners from coming up. But there you have it, y'all. This is the finished product. I'm loving them so much. I've already been wearing the black pair out, which is my pair, and yeah, I've been getting compliments. See, I put the rubber on the bottom of these um, just to make them a little bit more sturdier and, you know, for them to last longer. But yeah, y'all, uh, definitely, if you liked how these turned out, if you would try these, like, if you would try to make these yourself and if this video was super helpful for you to do that, then definitely subscribe, thumbs this video up, This is the black finish pair, AKA my pair. <laughs> and they're very sturdy and they held up very well. But the rubber at the bottom will just, to me, have them last a little bit longer because you guys saw the corkscrew is pretty thin. But anyways, uh, this is pretty much it for this, y'all. Definitely stay tuned for more. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.